All right, welcome back, everyone. New Mutator here, and I'm gonna zoom out all the way for this one. We got, uh, we have some pretty good stuff here. Actually, I'll just modulate that in game. Um, this is Havergalmir. Herver I still have trouble pronouncing that. If you know the correct pronunciation, please let me know, uh, either in the comments or whatever. Link me to a sound file or something so I know what's going on. I mean, I just I say it how I read it to myself. I've, I've nobody's ever corrected me, but I think if they did, I'd I'd, I'd pronounce it a little bit better. Um, yeah, it's game four here in the the week seven matchup of Myth Kickballers. It's Thor and Paris squaring off against each, against each other. Capture the flag yet again. So it's very curious to see how in these last couple weeks of Myth Kickballers we have a lot of capture the flag games. Um, that's something that I would not have anticipated. But it's also okay. I mean, I don't mind that. I think Capture the Flag can be very interesting. And in fact, you know, the, I have played a lot of very interesting Capture the Flag games in the past few days. Um, some of those have turned out to be... Uh, because what happens a lot of the times is... Uh, a lot of the time is that uh, both teams will take each other's flag and then they have to turn around and try to uh, take back their home flag. And that can be really interesting in a lot of, uh, in a lot of instances. Um, <clears throat> especially when there's very few units left to do it with, and there's enough time that um, you can actually move back across the the, uh, the length of the map. Which, uh, on this map, should be no problem. This was the last game that I played. Uh, oh, yes, and in game, in game three, I didn't have any losses either, I think. <laughs> I think. I forgot to take a look at that in the cast, but yeah. So, but this was the last game that I played in this uh, in this match because I had to go and uh, take care of some stuff. So I wasn't able to finish the match, but I was able to play this game. Um, and this was actually a really this could have been a really really interesting game. Like I I thought this game was was probably the best of the bunch that I was able to play. And we'll take a look at these these unit trades. Three Warlocks, three Mortars, a bunch of Solus, and just a handful of Mauls. Maximum Berserks, or close to Maximum Game Berserks, on. Crids, and uh, Tro. Pretty similar, except uh, only one Mortar Dwarf, and it looks like six Warlocks. So maybe one Artillery Unit more, and most of those are... Uh, are in the form of these warlocks here, but pretty similar, although no malls whatsoever. And for some reason, like I was doing something, I don't think I knew that I had this unit for a while. <clears throat> but I'm gonna move them up later. And who has the tro? It looks like Rauer has that tro. Does he have both tro? Where's the other tro? Ah, here it is. Yeah, he does have both tro. Yeah, I think it makes sense not to split tro on this map. Paris has both of these tro here. And this is going to be interesting because of the way this map is set up. There's a lot of paths that go across the map. Uh, you know, there's one here, one here, one here, one straight through the middle here, one here, uh, one here, and one here. So it's it's sort of symmetrical. It's not precise, but it's uh, it's more or less symmetrical. Um, as you can see, kind of like a, what do you call that, yin-yang symbol. Uh, looks like Paris is going to run in and basically see this happening. What did I have? Did I have the, I may have had defense. No, HW has a few units on defense. I'm bringing up this guy because I just realized that I had that mortar dwarf at home. Somebody let me know right as I realized. And... Uh, yeah, we have these guys here. Yeah, I think I'm up here in the mid, basically running around. Looks like Paris got a few kicks in, so that was cool. One, he killed one Zerk, I think. So yeah, first blood. We have one percent lead at this point. Arsenic gonna move in, maybe get a shot off on uh, on this guy. Nope. It's gonna send out a Mercridia, although I don't know if that's too good of a thing to do at this point might not be worth it. A lot of friendly fire damage from uh, Drowned. So there we go. It's gonna try to do a little bit. Falcon takes a little bit of damage here. So most of our forces air raid like right here. We have uh, 
this guy here, who is this? Mercadon has this force here basically to uh, deal, contend with this flank, which he may be able to do. He just needs to get like one or two good shots off. As these guys are nowhere near the battle. Pretty good shot. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. As uh, one of the things I noticed in this game was the fact that uh, Valky and company, Demolition Rower, were slowly sneaking across this way and uh, they were going to try to attempt like a flank of some sort, which I noticed, but uh, but at the same time, like if you're if you're concerned with this area, you don't really have a good vantage of this area here, especially if you have these guys like that. And if, you, if you're trying to lo look at that, it's kind of, I guess you could play like this, but it's a little bit difficult. A little bit counterintuitive to play from the perspective of the opposing team. Still, we're doing we're doing okay. And uh, Mercadon is going to dodge that. It's going to be across from Dak and Evil Jake. So they're going to try to double team him. But Arsenic is here as well as some Solas from Drowned. And uh, yeah. I really wanted to like get somebody over here to like maybe bomb them from over here. But uh, I don't think I was able to do that. And yeah, it's kind of a stalemate here in the middle. It looks like this push is trying to focus down. It looks like they're retreating. They're on the back foot at this point. Merc and HW going to try to double team them. So Evil Jake, Dak. Looks like they lost uh, a Mortar and a Berserk in that exchange. So Mercadon going to uh, basically dodge the return Flag fire. Contested. Flag contested at this point. So yeah, actually I fell back home. I do remember this. I was trying to... I was trying to keep these guys from from staying on the flag, so I fell back home to defend that. And all of a sudden, I'm in charge of defense, which I don't know if that's the best thing, but okay. That works out. I don't think I did too great this game. I think I did okay, but I think I c at some point, there was a point at which I could have played a lot better. As uh, Rauer, Demo, and company going to amass a lot of units right here. And, you know, Paris is here waiting, but he's also sending some melee back home to intercept these units here. All of a sudden, it's 90, 95% or so. And these guys are just waiting for an opportunity to move in. Falcon pushing his luck a little bit. Trying to get that one one guy there so all of a sudden and this is what's what was really cool was the way the positioning I'm gonna back up just a little bit so we can see a little bit more of that uh, so we got these this kind of engagement happening here at the same time uh, we have units right here and so they have these units basically in our backfield trying to basically harass us and keep us from from being able to uh, really be mobile in any way we have to we have to stick to this flag um, we're trying to push away um, these guys from connecting up with that and you know we get a couple kills here and there uh, Rauer and Demo this is such odd positioning you know they have a, a force here and units here you know with some forces like nestled up against the wall like so and nope that doesn't quite connect does a little bit of damage though as uh, Dom may end up losing that Five warlock remaining. is Drown going to hit anything? Nope doesn't hit anything but yeah he ends up losing that warlock at some point and all of a sudden looks like Evil Jake came out on top but uh, just barely it looks like here's a few more units demolition he tried to cross here and I think I did some damage to him um, as he uh, attempted to do that. And uh, so he's kind of lying in wait. Some more damage 
happening here, although it's very close. It's about 7% spread at this point. And so this is, so basically, yeah, there's demo small force. There's evil Jake. He had a couple units. Basically, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say to myself, all right, I think that's enough to defend from this. Although, let's take a look. This is three berserks. And that's four berserks. So yeah, that should be enough to defend for now. So I'm going to move out with some units and try to do something. As all of a sudden, Rauer is cutting loose along with Dom and company. And they're going to do a lot of damage to these squishy units right here. These soldiers are going to try to get up on this hill area and try to focus down some of these tro. And uh, all of a sudden, though, here's a huge flank. And, you know, it's not very large, but Mercuria are very powerful. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, dear, I got to move, move back home because I'm not going to be able to hold against this plus this. So Demo going to try to move in. I'm going to try to move in as well. Flag. These units going to try to get there. And, you know, three minutes remain. We're still up, Flag. but barely. And <laughs> some, for some reason, for some reason, I was, like, focusing somewhere else on some units over here. <laughs> and totally, because I can't zoom out this far, I wasn't able to, to tell these berserks not to do that. So that was a slip up on my end. And I'm kind of embarrassed because that was kind of, that was our game to lose, and we ended up losing it. Although I think I could have stayed on this flag. Um, you know, these guys would have were just inches away, but uh, so was uh, so was this force here. We we probably would have been able to reinforce the flag and maybe uh, prevent that from happening. Plus, Rauer's Tro were low on health compared to Paris's, so we were looking pretty okay, I think, and. Uh, I kind of lost it for the team, but uh, you know, it made things a little bit more interesting because now the series is tied at two games apiece and it has to go into the fifth game. So yes, we could have won. Yes, it's my fault we didn't win, but uh, hey, we forced to, we were forced to play game five, so that's not that's not too bad. It's not a bad deal, right? And it's just for fun anyway. It's not like super competitive. Although you know, it's good to have competition, but yeah. No losses yet again this game. So continuing that trend, uh, looks like uh, our our couple of uh, our major players here, Mercadon, Arsenic, they managed to to uh, do a lot of damage, 98, 88 damage respectively. Uh, Paris got pretty okay damage, 63. But uh, yeah, this game ended prematurely, so these damage numbers are not going to be too high. And uh, looks like Rauer actually getting damage and kills. He had the tro. 84 damage, 10 kills on those. Um, Evil Jake next was 77, but uh, he had eight losses to his seven kills. And yeah, I think this. I think we were in the lead. Yeah, three some 378 damage to 426 damage. Although the uh, kills and losses were relatively even, all things considered. So yeah, it's going to be it for game number four. We're going to take a look at game number five next. And I haven't actually watched it. So, uh, you know, I didn't play in it. I had to go at that point. So I'm curious to see how it, how it turned out in uh, Myth Kickballers week seven. So we'll see that in just a moment. Team eliminated. Game over. You're welcome, Thor. 